Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to podcast 1.5. We almost never make it to 5, but we made it to 5 this time, where we are going to look at physical change, chemical changes, or physical and chemical properties, science of chemical change, the fastest podcast of the year. Physical properties. Physical properties do not have to do with reactions. Um, physical properties are just what it looks like, like density, color, hardness, shape, conductivity are just some examples. There's many other ones. So we want to talk about intensive, which is always there, and extensive, which can change. So density. So if I have a piece of gold, a gold nugget, not nougat, not like a candy bar, but a gold nugget, or a statue of myself made out of gold. And apparently, I need to lose weight. Obese, golden, Mr. Folly. So um, density. Would these have the same density? Yes. Um, density is an intensive property. So gold, whether it's a cube or a statue of me, would have the same density. Is gold yellow in both cases? Yes, absolutely. Hardness. Gold is actually very soft. It's kind of interesting. If I decided that I wanted to take a bite out of gold, like Pac-Man, um, I would leave teeth marks in it because gold is very soft. And all gold is the same hardness or softness on that same thing. Shape. Notice these are different shapes. So that's an extensive property because you can change the shape and still be gold. Conductivity is an intensive property. There are other extensive properties like volume and I don't know what else. I can't think of them right now, but you get the idea. Chemical properties. No, oh, look at the picture. Will it react chemically? So we're talking about reacting. And reacting chemically means you're going to change the identity of what you started with. So hydrogen and oxygen have the chemical property of forming water. So when you mix them together, they will form water when they bond. So if there's a chemical reaction, they'll form water. And water is very different from hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen, remember, will explode under a match. Bam! Oxygen will burn brighter, and water will put out the match. Hydrogen explodes. Another example of how hydrogen could do it. Witches burn. So like, when you burn a witch, then you start off with a witch, and you end up with smoke, right? Smoke. And you end up with ash. Ah, uh, ash. And the evil comes out and makes all the pilgrims more evil. I'm just joking. We all know witches are good. Signs of chemical change. Heat is absorbed. Heat is released. Color change. Precipitate. Gas forms, and it must have a new product. Heat is absorbed. For example, here's a tricky one. Okay? Boiling water. If you have boiling water, water is boiling. Here's the flames. Um, the water is absorbing the heat. So that is endothermic. And liquid water turns into a gas, which is steam. But I start off with H2O, and I end up with H2O. Physical change if you boil water. Okay? So you must have a new product, and that's one of the tricky ones. Is if you, for a color change, that makes it tricky. Is if you paint something. Or I'm going to say Crayola it. I'm going to make up my own verb, Crayola it. Um, it's a physical change. It's physical, physical. OK. So chemical or physical change. Doink, 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 doink. OK, iron rust. We had a color change and new properties. Iron is hard and silver. And rust is crumbly and red. Water boils is a, um, oops, is a chemical change. Water boils is a physical change. Start as water and end as water. Leaves change colors is a chemical change. So the properties of a dead leaf that is brown is different or red than a living leaf that is green. Cheese molds. So that is a chemical change, too. The two different parts, the moldy cheese and the non-moldy cheese, the taste is not the same. So you've made something new. By the way, if you've never eaten the mold on a cheese, oh, you don't know what you're missing. Kills antibiotics, tastes a little creamier, and of course it kills you sometimes too. If you dye your hair, that's just coloring, so you're not changing it, so that's it. Rain falls starts out as H, so this is a physical change. Rain falls is a physical change, start at H2O, end up H2O. Review, told you it's short. Chemical properties need reactions and new products. Know your signs of reactions. And I should have been playing my physical song even more, so here you go. And that is it. So dance a little Olivia Newton-John and say toodles. Toodles. <laughs>